The Glorious Mysteries, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. The third day He arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The First Glorious Mystery, The Resurrection of Our Lord When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome bought spices so they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb, and they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. 
As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus, the Nazarene who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples and Peter, He is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as As it was was in the beginning, beginning, is now, now, and and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. And And lead all souls to heaven, especially especially those those most in need of thy mercy. mercy. Amen. The Second Glorious Mystery, The Ascension of Our Lord When Jesus had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. They stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give Give us this day our daily bread, and and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother, Mother of God, pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without end. Amen. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. And, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The Third Glorious Mystery, The Descent of the Holy Spirit When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly, a sound like the blowing of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw what seemed to be tongues of fire that separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The Fourth Glorious Mystery, The Assumption of Mary The Immaculate Virgin, preserved free from all stain of original sin, was taken up body and soul into heavenly glory when her earthly life was over, and was exalted by the Lord as Queen over all things. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread. And, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was in the beginning, is, is now, and, and ever, ever shall be, world, world without, without end. end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, and save us from the fires of hell. And, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. The fifth glorious mystery, the coronation of Mary as the Queen of Heaven. A great and wondrous sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell. And lead all souls to heaven, especially those most in need of thy mercy. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy toward us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, Grant, we beseech thee, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In, In the, the name, name of the, the Father, and of the, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Chaplet of Divine Mercy Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day He arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence He shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, Holy Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, King of mercy, I trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, we trust in you. Jesus, King of mercy, may the whole world trust in you. The Litany of Saint Faustina, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ hear us. Christ graciously hear us. God the Father of heaven, have mercy on us. God the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Faustina, living witness of the Heavenly Father's mercy, pray for us. Saint Faustina, humble servant of Jesus, mercy incarnate. Pray for us. Saint Faustina, obedient instrument of the Spirit, the Comforter. Pray for us. Saint Faustina, trustful daughter of the Mother of Mercy. Pray for us. Saint Faustina, confident of the divine mercy message. Pray for us. Saint Faustina, faithful secretary of the words of the merciful Jesus. Pray for us. 
St. Faustina, Great Apostle of God's Mercy. Pray for us. St. Faustina, Dispenser of God, Rich in Mercy. Pray for us. St. Faustina, Gift of God for the whole world. Pray for us. St. Faustina, Perceiving the Goodness of the Creator in Every Creature. Pray for us. St. Faustina, Glorifying God, in the mystery of the Incarnation. Pray for us. St. Faustina, partaker in the Lord's Passion and Resurrection. Pray for us. St. Faustina, guide on the way of Jesus' cross. Pray for us. St. Faustina, meeting with Jesus in the Holy Sacraments. Pray for us. St. Faustina, united with the spouse in your soul. Pray for us. St. Faustina, enraptured by the mercy of God in Mary's life. Pray for us. St. Faustina, loving the Church, the mystical body of Christ. Pray for us. St. Faustina, powerful with genuine faith. Pray for us. St. Faustina, persevering in unwavering hope. Pray for us. St. Faustina, enkindled with ardent love. Pray for us. St. Faustina, beautiful with true humility. Pray for us. St. Faustina, simple with childlike trust. Pray for us, St. Faustina, model of fulfilling God's will. Pray for us, St. Faustina, example of generous service. Pray for us, St. Faustina, caring protector of the souls of priests and religious. Pray for us, St. Faustina, defender of young people and children against evil. Pray for us, St. Faustina, hope of the fallen and the despairing. Pray for us, St. Faustina, strength of the sick and the suffering. Pray for us, St. Faustina, safeguarding trust in the hearts of the dying. Pray for us, St. Faustina, offering yourself for sinners. Pray for us, St. Faustina, solicitous for the salvation of all people. Pray for us, St. Faustina, advocate of the suffering souls in purgatory. Pray for us, St. Faustina, imploring God's mercy for the whole world. Pray for us, Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Spare us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Pray for us, St. Faustina, that we may proclaim the message of mercy to the world with our life and words. Let us pray. Merciful, Merciful God, God, receive, receive our, our thanksgiving, thanksgiving for the, the gift of St. Faustina's life and mission. Grant, we beseech you, that by her intercession, we may grow in the attitude of trust in you and mercy towards our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Faustina, pray for us. Today's Gospel presents the genealogy of our Lord Jesus. The Evangelist Matthew tells us that the culmination of Israel's history is the coming of the Messiah. In Jesus, the history of salvation finds its fullness and ultimate meaning. Good evening, everyone. We are on the second day of our Simbangabi. Our Eucharistic celebration will be presided by our guest priest, Reverend Father Michel jo Jojo Cerudo. Please all rise.
In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dearly beloved, today's gospel presents the genealogy of our Lord Jesus. The evangelist St. Matthew tells us that the culmination of Israel's history is the coming of the Messiah. In Jesus, the history of salvation finds its fullness and ultimate meaning. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to increase us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory, bringing salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Gloria in excelsis Deo.
let us pray. O oh God, who will that at the message of an angel, your word should take flesh in the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Grant that we will pray to you and believe her to be truly the Mother of God. May be held by her interceding before you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Jacob prophesies that from his son Judah will come the dynasty that will rule Israel. Despite the weaknesses of Judah and his descendants, God makes good his plan. From Judah comes the house of David and eventually the Messiah. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, shall your brothers praise, your hand on the neck of your enemies. The sons of your father shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts who would dare rouse him. The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the mace from between his legs, while tribute is brought to him and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. judgment endow the king and with your justice the king's son he shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice he shall defend the afflicted among the people save the children of the poor in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more may he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth May 
His name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, His name shall remain. In Him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim His happiness. The Lord be with you. And with yours. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. To you, The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac. Isaac, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Zerah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminadab, Aminadab became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, whose mother was Rahab, Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abijah, Abijah the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah, Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham became the father of Ahaz, Ahaz the father of Hezekiah, Hezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh the father of Amos, Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shealtiel. 
Sheltiel, the father of Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel, the father of Abayud. Abayud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Matan. Matan, the father of Jacob. The, Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus, I trust in you. Believe it or not, even though the Simbang Gabe began yesterday, but it is only today that our direct preparation for Christmas begins. We have been celebrating Advent uh, for already three Sundays, three weeks. But remember that it is not until December 17 that we actually prepare for Christmas. The first part of Advent is all about preparing ourselves for the second coming, the last judgment of the Lord. And so our direct preparation for Christmas begins today with the reading of the genealogy of our Lord Jesus. Now, this is the list of the ancestors of our Lord. In other words, this is the family tree of Jesus. Now, to many of us, this reading is merely a list of names but what we do not actually realize is that this list brings with it 4,000 years of history. Yeah, you want to have a grasp of the Old Testament? Look at every name that was included in the list of the ancestors of the Lord. You have all in all 4,000 years of history. It is the history of a nation that began with Abraham and ended with Jesus Christ. And in fact, the genealogy is even remarkable on account of its symmetry. Fourteen generations from Abraham to David, fourteen generations from David to the Babylonian exile, and fourteen generations from the Babylonian exile to Jesus Christ. Fourteen is a significant number in the Bible. Fourteen is seven times two. It's twice the number seven, which is the number of perfection. Therefore, we cannot help but marvel over the way the journey of Jesus' family was arranged over 4,000 years of history. 
hindi natin lubos na malirip yung galing kung paano naayos yung lahat ng salin lahi ng ating Panginoong Heso Kristo na bumagtas ng apat na libong taon ng kasaysayan. And this itself is the evidence that there was definitely an invisible hand guiding the generations across time. Now, whose generation, well, whose hand was it who guided the course of history from Abraham until the fullness of time in Jesus Christ? Kaninong kamay yung gumabay sa lahat ng mga kaganapan ng kasaysayan mula kay Abraham hanggang sa kaganapan ng panahon kay Kristo Jesus. Well, we might be surprised by the answer. History has taken its course through the guidance of the eternal wisdom of God who is nobody else but the second person of the Blessed Trinity, God the Son. Incidentally, um, um, if we actually look at the text of the Alleluia verse that is supposed to be sung or read today, December 17, it would speak about the wisdom of God. O wisdom of our God, Most High, sapientia. O wisdom of our God, Most High, guiding creation with power and love, come to reach us, to teach us the path of knowledge. Every day from December 17 until December 23, you have an old Testament prefiguration of the Messiah. And as we said, today is the beginning of the direct preparation for Christmas. So we look at divine wisdom. The eternal wisdom. Ang karunungan ng Diyos. Sino ang karunungan ng Diyos? Ang karunungan ng Diyos ay ang Diyos anak. Bakit siya naging karunungan ng Diyos? Well, napakasimple. Kapag tinititigan ng ama ang kanyang anak, ang nakikita ng ama ay ang kanyang sarili. Subukan nyo, mga tatay. Titigan ninyo ang inyong anak. Lalo tigit yung anak na lalaki. At maaalala ninyo kung ano ang itsura ninyo nung kayo ay nasa edad nila. You, your son would have been a splitting image of the father. Therefore, when God looks at his son, the, the second person, lalo nakikilala niya ang kanyang sarili kasi nakikita niya ang kanyang sarili. And that is what it means that the second person is the wisdom of God. The wisdom of God guided all these events of history. The Bible tells us that God created everything through His wisdom, who is His only begotten Son. All you have to do is to look at the book of Proverbs. And that is why St. Paul said that through Christ and for Christ, everything was made. Everything was made through Him and for Him. Last December 8, we celebrated the Feast of the 
Immaculate Conception. And when you talk about the Immaculate Conception, you look at the Virgin Mary, and what do you see? We actually see humanity according to the original concept of God. According to the original intention of God. That's what you call original innocence. Now, in the Immaculate Conception, we saw how the eternal wisdom created copies of himself. Ang Diyos anak ay parang Xerox machine. Nung ginawa niya ang tao, gumawa siya ng eksaktong, eksaktong, ano, isang nilikha na eksaktong, eksaktong kamukha niya. Kaya nga hindi ba? Man was created in the image and in the likeness of God. Si Adan at Eva ay kamukhang kamukha ng Diyos. Kawangis na kawangis ng Diyos. And God the Son created man and woman to be exact copies of His own self. But, sin entered the world through the disobedience of Adam and Eve. Ang sabi nga ni St. Louis de Montfort, Eternal wisdom was deeply moved by the plight of Adam and his descendants. Na antig ang kalooban ng Diyos anak nang walang hanggang kanungan ng Diyos nung nakita niya ang nangyari kay Adan at kay Eva. He was, Adam was profound, uh, the word, the wisdom was profoundly distressed at seeing the ves- his vessel of honor shattered, his image torn to pieces, his masterpiece destroyed, his representative in this world overthrown. Dahil sa kasalanan, ang tao na unang nilikha na kawangis at kalarawan ng Diyos, nasira ang kanyang pagkakawangis sa Diyos. His likeness unto God was destroyed by sin. And the eternal wisdom was distressed at what he saw. Kaya nga, nung nakita niya that nothing on earth can expiate the sins of man, when the wisdom of God saw that nothing can satisfy divine justice, nothing can appease God's anger, but still wishing to save unfortunate man whom he cannot help loving. Hindi niya matiis na hindi mahalin ang tao. Bakit? Kasi ginawa niya tayo. Ginawa niya ang tao na kamukha niya. Hindi niya matiis na pabayaan na lang tayo. He cannot help loving man. That is why the eternal wisdom offers himself in sacrifice to the Father to comply with his justice, to calm divine anger, to rescue us from the slavery of the devil, and to merit for us eternal happiness. In a look ng Diyos anak sa Ama, Tatay, ako na lang po ang bababa. Ako po ang bababa sa lupa upang sa gayon ay mapagbayaran ko ang hindi nila mabayad-bayarang utang sa iyo. Ako na po ang magbabayad noon para yung makondisyon ng iyong katarungan so that the conditions of your divine justice might be satisfied. And His offer is accepted 
by the Father. And when the decision that the incarnation will take place, then God the Son, the eternal wisdom, proceeded to guide the course of history towards that appointed time of His incarnation. Noong napagkayarian, noong napagkasunduan nila sa langit na magkakatawang tao ang Diyos Anak, nagsimula ng magtrabaho ang Diyos Anak, ang karunungan ng Diyos. Sinimulan niyang gabayan ang paglakad ng kasaysayan patungo sa natatanging oras, yung kaganapan ng lahat ng panahon ng kanyang pagkakatawang tao. When the nations conspired together to do evil, wisdom discerned Abraham, preserved him in innocence, and kept him resolute. Wisdom saved the descendants of Abraham from evil, even from the very evil they have inflicted upon themselves. In spite of their sins, wisdom guided them, the people of Israel, out of the slavery of Egypt. He guided them through the temptations in the desert. He guided them through the division of the Davidic kingdom. He guided them through the Babylonian exile to the day of St. Joseph, the husband of Mary, from whom he took flesh and was born into the world. This movement of history, yung pagkilos ng kasaysayan, patungo sa kaganapan at katuparan ng kanyang pangako ay gawain ng walang hanggang karunungan ng Diyos. Ito'y gawain ng Diyos anak. At tingnan nyo, hindi natapos doon ang paggagabay niya sa kasaysayan. Even after His ascension into heaven, It was God the Son, Jesus Christ, who guided the spread of the gospel to all nations. Yes, even to our own Filipino nation. Even if sin puts a hindrance to the divine plan, The eternal wisdom, Jesus, brings that plan to fulfillment. And that is why nothing comes as an accident. Alam natin lahat, di ba, na we are now celebrating the 500th anniversary of the Christianization of the Philippines. March 1521, the expedition of Ferdinand Magellan landed in the shores of our islands. And together with the conquistadores came the missionaries. The missionaries who preached the gospel to us. Was it an accident? Aksidente ba na napadpad si Fernando Magallanes sa ating bansa? Aksidente ba na yung kanyang, yung kanyang malaking barko ay sumadsad sa mga isla ng Pilipinas? Aksidente ba yung may kasama siyang mga misyonero na nangaral ng mabuting balita sa atin? Aksidente ba na si Magallanes ay tinanggihan ng sarili niyang bansa, ang Portugues? Kaya 
pumunta siya sa hari at reyna ng Espanya para sponsor ang kanyang expedition? Aksidente ba? I don't think so. Just as the eternal wisdom guided all the events of the Old Testament towards the fullness of time, so also the eternal wisdom guided even to the smallest details the expedition so that it will reach our shores. It was Christ who brought them here. The Spanish missionaries did not come to the Philippines by chance. It was Christ who brought them here. It was the eternal wisdom who saw to it that the gospel be preached to us. Why? The answer is because He loves us. He wants us to be saved. He wants us to be grafted into the family of Abraham. Our salvation was His plan. Di ba yung ni St. Paul? This is the will of God. Your salvation. Christ wanted us to be grafted into the family of the redeemed. He guides all of history to bring about the salvation of the many. Yung ikaw ay nabinyagan, yung ikaw ay naririto sa kabila ng pandemya, tumatanggap ng banal na Eucharistia, hindi aksidente yan. Christ drew you here. Inakit kayo ni Kristo dito. The Father drew you towards His Son. For no one can come to me unless the Father draws him. He guides all of history to bring about the salvation of the many. Christ Jesus, the eternal wisdom, the Son of God, is truly Lord of history. All times belong to Him. To Him belongs all honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. O Mary conceived without sin, we bring our petitions before the Heavenly Father, who in His great love for us has sent His Son, so that we may be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. So we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, embracing saints and sinners alike in her bosom, may strengthen herself by encouraging her children to incessantly pursue the path of penance and renewal, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may allow neither the sins and scandals in our family life and in the church, nor the corruption in our community and society, to overcome the goodness and goodwill in our hearts, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That members of families who are separated by distance, misunderstanding, or apathy may experience homecoming, reconciliation, and togetherness this Christmas, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That our participation in the Misa de Gallo may promote among us a spirituality of communion enabling us to share the joys and sufferings of our brothers and sisters in the community and in the parish, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins and rest in peace in the kingdom of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. O Father, you decreed and your word became man, born of the Virgin Mary. May we follow the example of Christ who humbled himself to save us from our sins. He lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Dearly beloved, pray the sacrifice of mine and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. Accept, O Lord, these offerings, and by your power change them into the sacrament of salvation, in which fulfilling the sacrifices of the fathers is offered the true Lamb. Jesus Christ, your Son, born of the ever-Virgin Mary, in a way beyond all telling, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up 
your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith
therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with her most chaste spouse, Blessed Joseph, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. And by the help of your mercy, may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming 
of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accord with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Panalangin para sa espiritual na pakikinabang. Panginoong Jesus, ako ay naniniwala na ikaw ay nasa kabanal-banalang sakramento. Iniibig kita ng higit sa lahat at ninanasa kong tanggapin ka sa aking kaluluwa. Sapagkat sa mga sandaling ito, ay hindi kita matatanggap sa sakramento. Tumuloy ka nawa sa aking puso. Niyayakap kita na para bagang naririto ka na at iniaalay ko ng buong buo ang aking sarili sa iyo. Huwag mong hayaang mawalay ako sa iyo. Amen.
Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord our God, always show forth your mercy in us, that we who commemorate in faith the mother of your Son may be saved by his incarnation, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Magsiupo po ang lahat. Nais ko pong i-acknowledge unang-una ang mga nakatayo at nakaupo sa labas ng simbahan na nakikiisa sa ating pagdiriwang. Hindi ho talaga tayo magkakasya dito sa loob. Kaya first come, first serve basis po tayo. And I would like to, uh, to tell you that I'm very happy to see you here now back in the church attending the Simbang Gabi or in the morning the Misa de Gallo hindi lang basta sa online pero ngayon ay unti-unti nang bumabalik sa parokya but let us also acknowledge those who are joining us in in this live streaming Simbang Gabi ang dahilan po kung bakit ginawa nating English ang Misa kasi meron po tayong mga nakikiisa sa atin na taga Visayas in Mindanao may sa po taga Bacolod and they are not kumbaga familiar with Tagalog masses. So maganda sana ang Tagalog pero may mga kumbaga naging bahagi na ng ating online spiritual community who have suggested na with English nakakasabay sila sa misa. Kaya pasensya na po kung ginawa nating English ang misa pero naman ang reading ang ating homily ay Tagalog and English din. So uh, I am very happy that Uh, we are all together uh, celebrating this Simbang Gabi in uh, the, the online platform and here inside the church and those outside the church. One family in the parish gathered together. Nais ko pong uh, pasalamatan ang nanguna sa ating pagdiriwang ho ngayon sa banalamisang ito. Siya po ay si Father Michel Jose Cerudo or Father Jojo Cerudo. Siya po ang parish priest ng Most Holy Redeemer Parish dito sa Brixton, Araneta, Quezon City. At siya rin po ang minister ng catechetical ministry ng Diocese of Cubao. So lahat ng mga katekista ay inaalagaan po at binibigyan ng direksyon ni Father Jojo Cerudo. At siya rin po ang minister ng Office of Exorcism ng Diocese of Cubao. So, Father Jojo, maraming salamat sa pagpapaunlak ng aming paanyaya at nabiyayaan po kami ng inyong uh, napaka-substantial uh, na homily at sa simbang gabing ito ay tunay na ang presensya mo ay uh, isang pagpapala na galing sa Diyos. Maraming maraming salamat po. Ngayon po ay magsitayo tayong lahat. May I invite Father Jojo to offer incense to the Blessed Mother at tayo po ay aawit ng isang himig para sa ating mahal na ina na ang mga simbang gabing ito ay alay para sa kanya.
Bago tayo magwakas, maraming maraming salamat, Father Tony, sa pag-anyaya sa akin. Ito yung kauna-unahang simbahan ng St. Joseph na dinalaw ko mula noong nagsimula ang Year of St. Joseph. Kaya... I come as a pilgrim. Okay, dumarating ako as a pilgrim to honor St. Joseph. My favorite saint is St. Joseph. That's why I call Jojo. Okay. This is my favorite saint. Okay. So thank you, Father. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May the almighty and merciful God, by whose grace you have placed your faith in the first coming of his only begotten Son, and yearn for his coming again, sanctify you by the radiance of Christ's advent and enrich you with his blessing forever and ever. Amen. As you run the race of this present life, may he make you firm in faith, joyful in hope, and active in charity forever and ever. So that rejoicing now with devotion at the Redeemer's coming in the flesh, you may be endowed with the rich reward of eternal life when He comes again in majesty forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go in the peace of Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.